This experiment with the rotating tank demonstrates flow in Ekman layers. We begin with our rotating tank in solid body rotation, so the water is all spinning at the same speed. And we add some potassium permanganate crystals which sink to the bottom of the tank and allow us to visualize the flow at the bottom of the tank in that small surface layer that is influenced with friction by friction from the tank's bottom. This shows the top view from our co-rotating camera. We then turn down the rotation rate to generate a cyclonic flow in the tank relative to the rotation. The paper dot on the surface of the water begins to move in a counterclockwise fashion cyclonically. However, the potassium permanganate crystals at the bottom of the tank are influenced by friction and don't move in a purely counterclockwise fashion. Instead, they're spiraling inwards towards the low pressure at the center of the tank. This is because the flow in that Ekman layer is influenced by friction such that it reduces the speed of the flow, which reduces the strength of the Coriolis force. Then the Coriolis is not able to fully balance the pressure gradient force, and the flow flows down the pressure gradient towards the low pressure at the center. And we can see after some time that that potassium permanganate has really built up in the center of the tank relative to those kind of three original locations that it started at. We can also then turn the rotation rate back up to generate a flow in the opposite direction, which will be clockwise in this case, which is anticyclonic flow associated with a high pressure at the center of the tank. And so we see our paper dot in an axisymmetric clockwise pattern of rotation, whereas the potassium permanganate at the surface is beginning to move outwards from the center as well as spiral around anticyclonically. This is because now with the effective friction reducing the speed of that anticyclonic flow at the surface, again, that weakens the strength of the Coriolis. It's not able to fully balance the pressure gradient and we have flow flowing down the pressure gradient away from the high pressure at the center of the tank. And so this really shows the dramatic effects on balanced flow that friction in this layer, um, that is influenced by friction, the Ekman layer has. And if we wait long enough, eventually that center region of the tank should clear out completely of the potassium permanganate. And we see these nice sort of outward spiraling patterns of that potassium permanganate indicating the flow in that Ekman layer. Ekman layers occur both in Earth's atmosphere near the surface as well as in the top of the ocean in terms of the layer that interacts with the surface winds blowing on the ocean circulation. Looking at the side view here we can again see these outward moving spirals of our flow in the Ekman layer at the bottom of the tank that's actually starting to now really build up at the edges of the tank. And we see now it's very nicely cleared out in the center, whereas that paper dot at the top is still moving around in an axisymmetric anticyclonic pattern. When we turn off the rotation, we then are going to generate a, a cyclonic flow again in the counterclockwise direction at the top. It rapidly mixes, but at the bottom, you can see that we again have inflow towards center influenced by the friction at the bottom.